I have this galvanized metal bucket that I got from Hobby Lobby. This was $5.99. And sometimes they have 40% off their metal decor. I'm going to start by painting it with some Wise Owl White Primer. I'm applying the primer with a Gen Foam brush. And the primer will just help my paint adhere to the metal better. I'm going to allow that to fully dry. And once that's dry, I'm then going to take some Wise Owl Snow Owl and cover the primer with the white paint. Now you could pick any color of your choice. I do recommend staying with a lighter color for this project. And sorry, you cannot see me painting the bucket that well. I'm just going around the whole outside with the Wise Owl Snow Owl. You want everything to be fully dry. I got these really cute napkins from Marshalls. It says, hop, little rabbit, hop, hop, hop. And when you open it up, there are four sections. And I'm going to just take the top left section of the napkin and cut it off and remove all the layers. I'm going to apply some Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear. I'm also using a Gen Foam brush to apply that. And then I will lay the napkin down on my bucket. You can press on the napkin lightly just to make sure it adheres to all of the one hour enamel clear before that dries. And then I'm going to take a piece of saran wrap and this is when you can really rub over your napkin. The saran wrap just helps get out wrinkles and bubbling from the napkin and allows you to really rub your hand or you can also use a brayer. And then once that is done, you're then going to immediately put on some Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear. And you can remove any excess napkin. If it's wet enough, sometimes it peels nicely, or you just allow it to dry, and when it dries, you can sand it off. And then I went around the entire backside of the bucket with the One Hour Enamel Clear as well, so that everything had a coat of the One Hour Enamel Clear. Now we do sell this in a sample size of four ounces on our website, chalkitupfancy.com. Once everything was fully dry, I then took some Wise Owl Dry Time, and I'm just going to dry brush on the back side and sides of the pail. And this is where we're just going to focus on trying to blend in where the napkin ends. And I'm allow that to fully dry. I have this mini pom-pom trim ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to glue it on the left and right side of where the napkin ends. And I'm just gluing it with some hot glue. And then I'll repeat the same thing on the right side of the napkin. And here we're kind of just trimming it out. And then I'll also go along the top of my bucket with the pom-pom trim. Now they had a variety of different colors. If you do not want to stick with the white, there you did have some other spring colors to pick from. Now I'm just going to kind of decorate the napkin a little bit, dress it up. I added some pearl stickers to the tips of the flowers here. I do wish the pearls were a little smaller but this is what I had, so it worked fine. And then there's like a scalloped design at the top and on the left side of the napkin. I'm just gonna go around the top and add the pearls to the scalloped design. Then I have this other ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby as well. It's just a decorative trim and it's in a lace. And I'm just gonna go around the top of the bucket with the decorative trim. Now this is one and a half inches wide, so it sits nicely. You can glue it to the inside of the bucket and it still sits up past the bucket, so it looks really pretty. And I'm just holding that in place with some hot glue. You can also use some E6000. So this is what we have so far. And to finish it off, I have this artificial grass you can get from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to lay my bucket down on it and just cut around. 
That way I get a circle of the padded grass. Now you could fill your bucket with whatever you'd like. I put a little tin on the inside so that the grass can sit on it and I just want some of the grass peeking up through the top. I then took more of the mini pom-pom trim and I just trimmed the handle of the bucket with the mini pom-poms. Now you could also wrap jute around it. You could pick another ribbon to wrap around it as well. And to finish it off, I just had this ribbon from the Dollar Tree. It has little carrots on it. And I'm just going to tie a little bow on the right side. And I'm just making a small little bow and just leaving the tails long so that they dangle. And there we go. Now we have this really cute Easter bucket that says hop little rabbit, hop, hop, hop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage as well. Have a great day.